Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogwell333, and welcome back to the new campaign trail. Now, last time we opted into the 1964 TNO scenario, good old Lyndon Johnson got our uh, good pal Edmund Muskie on the ticket, and we kicked George Wallace's racist ass back to the south with a pretty decisive lead, I'd say. Now, we're going to be do so doing something a bit more niche today. I'm eventually going to do, um, I'm planning to do a big JFK run with uh, the original 1960 scenario, um, the Viva Kennedy mods, um, an RFK scenario. Um, so we'll branch into those eventually, but I also found another mod that seems kind of fun. And so I figured we're going to go ahead and do it for that. So I already loaded it up. Oh, we're going to ignore that. This is the 1998 Minnesotan governorship. You might be thinking that th this sounds stupid and uninteresting, but it is the presidential election. Presidential. It's the governor election where Jesse Ventura, of all fucking people, won the governorship. The professional wrestler, Jesse Ventura. Uh, so fuck yeah, we're going to play it. Um, in 1998, Minnesota seems to be heading for a, quite an interesting governor's race. Jesse Ventura, former World Wrestling Federation wrestler and former mayor of Brooklyn Park, seeks an upset running under Ross Perot's Reform Party. Then you have Norm Coleman, former Democrat and mayor of St. Paul, now runs a Republican and a conservative. And then finally, Minnesota Attorney General Skip Humphrey, son and former Vice President Hubert Humphrey, runs as a liberal to try and flip the governor's mansion after eight years of Republican control. So, this is a real election. Um, shit. And, uh, if you can actually believe it, Jesse motherfucking Ventura won. Which is hilarious to me. Uh, take out any uh, policy interest or all that. I, I think that's funny as heck. So, uh, yeah. We're going to be playing. Uh, the only option is Jesse Ventura, so we're going to do it. Jesse Ventura enters the campaign running as a populist, non-traditional third-party candidate against two established politicians. Ideologically, he's described himself as physically conservative and socially moderate and liberal. Many pundits have said that him winning is unlikely, but if Ventura plays his cards right, he could perform well in this election. That works for us. We have do two different options, May Shunk or Dean Barkley. Uh, we're going to be going with uh, May Shunk, which I believe is his historical running mate. May Shunk is a fellow member of a foreign party and has been a teacher for 37 years. Picking Shunk would be a good way to appeal to female voters. She will be able to back you up in regards to your education policy. You two do disagree on several issues, but not to a degree that it would hurt your candidacy. Well, there we go. Go ahead and continue. When it takes all normal difficulty, let's do it. Get a load of the map. And here we are, only Minnesota. 46 to 38 to 15. Um, but we can probably find a way to spin that around and uh, get ourselves in a better position. Let's get back to the game. What is the overall message of your campaign? Focus on attacking the two-party system, especially my opponents for being entrenched, establishment politicians who don't care about the people. Dax and Good, just remember to mix your actual plans with them. Let's see if that helped us. It boosted us up a decent percentage, so we'll take that. Minnesota's gotten millions of dollars from a settlement with a tobacco company. Looks like there will be several billion-dollar budget surplus as well. How will you allocate these funds as government? Hmm, let's, um, I want almost all the budget surplus and some of the tobacco money to go to the people via tax cuts. I want the rest of the tobacco money to go to anti-smoking programs. Yeah, let's give that a shot. This is a fairly popular position. There we go. What do you have to say about your running mate? 
proud to be on the ticket with May Shunk, who's been down the trenches of the education system as a teacher for decades. Pundits note your emphasis on Shunk's education credentials. Let's see how we're doing now. 19%. I'm starting to pick up a bit of a lead. Keep in mind your low budget campaign. How do you plan on using advertising of selections? Radio ads, eh. Who listens to Radio 98 still? Television campaign, standard ones. Well, due to our low budget, we need to make our ads really stand out compared to the other candidates. I want unconventional television ads that really stick out to people. The ads with the tagline, don't vote for politics as usual, are a big success. There we go. 20%. This is 43 or 35% with Coleman. So running strategy in your campaign for governor. I'll clearly articulate my positions and policies on giving the budget surplus to the people and on teacher to student ratios to show that I'm a candidate to be taken seriously. You clearly explain your pol you clearly explaining your policies is definitely helping you. Go 21%, we're coming up. How would you describe your ideology? Hmm. I'm fiscally conservative and socially progressive. We need the government to stay out of people's lives. Do you plan on passing any tax cuts or raising taxes for your election? I support using the budget surplus to provide a tax cut that helps Minnesota families and also supply some property tax reforms as governor. This is in line with our expected position. Is that a bad thing? No. It seems to help us. What do you have to say about your opponents, Coleman and Humphrey? Um, let's focus on let's focus on Coleman. We'll attack as a political chameleon. He switched parties because he has no real principles. I think I lowered him a little bit there. What do you have to say about the two-party system and the establishment? Well, I'll explicitly run against the establishment, frequently attacking the two-party system my opponents as being part of it. I will refuse donations from any special interests. Good luck sticking to your anti-establishment position here. Didn't help us too much, but didn't hurt us either. Been invited for a debate between you, Coleman, and Humphrey after Humphrey refused to participate unless you were invited. What will you do? I'll clear out taking my policies and will speak against politics as usual. I'll talk about him an outsider who isn't a politician as well. Fingers crossed. You had a pretty good performance here. Definitely help you in the polls. There we go. It's getting more competitive. Coleman's now in the lead, actually. Um, so let's hope we can uh, pick up the uh, distance. What do you see on the issue of education? Support funding public schools. I'm opposed to school vouchers. I support reducing class size, ra class size to a ratio of one teacher for every 17 students. Um... I don't think teachers' unions will help us too much with teachers, but I think this will help us with them. It's your expected position, and it's a fairly popular one. Love to see it. Your opponent attacked you by saying you don't have the experience necessary to become governor. How will you respond to this? I was mayor of Brooklyn Park for four years. I have the necessary experience necessary for this job. Anything else is a blatant lie. It's a decent way to talk about the governor experience that you do have. We're getting close. We are getting close. Where do you stand on abortion? Well, this is relevant, isn't it? Um, I don't support abortion, but it would be a mistake to make them illegal again. Making it illegal to have an abortion wouldn't stop abortion, so just make it less safe. That sounds pretty libertarian. Yeah, it's expected for us. Doesn't hurt us, doesn't help us. Um, it's more important, you're trying to win over Coleman voters, you're trying to get Humphrey voters to vote for you. It's about neutral, really. Um, let's focus on potential Coleman voters. Starting to work, although Coleman's back in the lead now. We did get a bump in the polls, so. How will we help family-owned farms in Minnesota, specifically in relation to taxes? Some of my opponents have said that it would reduce income tax to help family farmers, but it's a bad idea as many of these farmers have not made a lot of income recently. We should lower property tax to provide relief to family farmers. 
It's a good way to show off your policies while attacking your opponents. And that helped Humphrey, not really us, so. You've claimed during early in the campaign that Minnesota should consider legalizing prostitution. Should you do you stand by this? <coughs> okay, um I don't think it's gonna be too popular to come out in favor of it, but we can't uh backtrack it. Um I don't support legalization, but we should learn from history. Prohibition was a failure, and you have to admit that the current way of dealing with prostitution does not work. It doesn't make me like too much of flip flopper, so it's probably the best way to deal with this. We're losing support though, shit. Another day, another rally on the campaign trail. What will you say today? I'll speak out against politics as usual. I'm sure I'm a, not a politician, I'm someone who truly speaks for the people. Alright, way to get the crowd fired up. Shit, not helping us. How do you feel about proposed gu carry gun legislation to allow gun owners to carry a hidden gun in public? Eh, it depends on the specifics of it. Lost well, us a bit of support, but... As Mayor Norm Coleman used city funds to build a hockey stadium, is there any scenario where any public money would be used to build a new stadium? Eh, uh, no, there isn't. The people's money shouldn't be wasted on a sports stadium, and the fact that Coleman did this shows that he actually supports wasteful spending. It's a good thing to needle Coleman on. Ooh, Coleman took a big hit and we got a big gain from it. What you plan on dealing with crime of Minnesota? Um, let's focus on our prison system. We need to find a happy medium between rehabilitation and punishment. I don't want prison to be a happy place, but we need people to be reformed once they leave. Interesting yet moderate answer on crime. It's not really helping us shit. What will we do as governor deal with the AIDS crisis? And do you support the Human Rights Act, which provides protection for AIDS patients? Yeah, I support helping AIDS patients. I'll support the Rights Act. A new unconventional television advertisement aid to close out your campaign. It's called Jesse the Mind. It's gained traction with a lot of people. It's definitely helping your poll numbers. Great. That contributed to a recent surge in the polls. Blue enough to win? That remains to be seen. It is tied right now. Holy shit. Another day, another day on the campaign trail. What will you say? Huh? Politics as usual. Someone who truly speaks for the people. Way to get the crowd fired up. We have a slight lead here. We're getting there. As a p campaign comes to an end, and some people, Democrats especially, have attacked your, you as a spoiler candidate. How you, you, will you respond to this? Now that you can, it's Democrat or Republican, we'll still stand for the people against expanding government. Let's talk about our principles here. Okay, it's gonna be close. Where do you want to visit last day of your campaign? So mayor of a suburb and the suburbs of my base. I'll campaign in the suburbs of the Twin Cities all day. Election nights arrive, sit in, wait for the turns, however long it may take. Best of luck. Come on. Only have to wait for one state here, but come on, let me see purple. Thirty-one percent in. You usually get around forty percent when I've played this before. Forty to fifty. Uh huh. It's taking a while this time. Makes me a little concerned. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. Let's frickin' go. Final results. 
A massive upset, you were the first member of the Reform Party to win a statewide office. Most pundits didn't see it coming. The other candidates said that a vote for you was a wasted vote, but it looks like those wasted votes wasted them. You certainly have a tough road ahead of you if you want to pass any of your agenda, however, so legislators in particularly support of your ideas. For now, though, be happy that you've won. So 692,000 versus 680,000 from uh, old Skip Humphrey, 655,000 from uh, Norm Coleman. It's funny, it's kind of, uh, I believe um, Coleman got the second most votes and Humphrey got the third. Well, it still worked for us. And um, Jesse the Mind Ventura lives to see a day in office. It's the power of the mind, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, if you like this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. Um, mainly do strategy game videos. Oh, Kalinka, you just missed, uh, we won as, uh, Ventura. Uh, like this video, leave a like. If, you know, um, I already did that shit. Um, mainly do strategy game videos alone. I'm starting to do a lot more uh, campaign trail videos. So, um, if you want to keep up to date with, uh, those... As they go live, hit the sub button. Those will probably go up Saturdays. And I have strategy game videos going up on the weekdays to keep you guys interested as well. Various links down in the description box below. You guys want to check that out. And, uh, yeah. That's about it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Mr. MrDogBoat333. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.